Guan Yu has just got buffed. This is the best time for you guys to pick up and start learning Guan Yu. This buff might not seem like it's significant but it actually is. This video might be long but it contains a lot of pro advanced tips for you guys. So make sure to watch till the end and I'm promising you guys it is going to be absolutely useful for you. So if you're new here make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and let's get right into the video. Okay, so here we go guys finally the Guan Yu tutorial and let's start with the passive So he has two stances. So this is the normal stance the walking stance as you can see the horse is just walking around But after you have covered 2000 units distance he will start charging. So this is the charging stance and In this stance your movement speed will be slightly higher than the normal one and also in this stance your auto attack if you hit the attack button he will dash with the horse and uh, he will knock back enemies that are hit okay and he will also dash forward so for example let's just put a puppet here and if you attack this puppet in this stance you can dash and move them i mean knock them back if you are not in the charging stance and if you are in the walking stance your auto attacks are just like every other hero a normal auto attack okay so this is the charging stance okay so this is the charging stance and this is the walking stance also if you are charging towards an enemy the horse as you can see its eyes turn yellow color right which means its movement speed will increase by 20 percent so whenever Guan Yu is in the charging stance and he is going towards an enemy his horse eyes will lit up let us see how far it can see and okay once you enter this distance uh, the eyes of the horse lit up and uh, you will start moving 20% faster this is very important because it will give him an advantage against enemies who are trying to run away from him since he moves 20% faster already he is a very fast hero because he is traveling in a horse and when he is approaching an enemy he will go even faster and making it very hard for enemies to escape from him. So this is just a passive of Guan Yu. Don't forget the charging of Guan Yu is going to be based off of how much distance he has walked. So if you let go of the movement cursor it will go down fully immediately okay. So keep that in mind. So after walking 2000 units of distance he will start charging. Which means that if you want to charge faster let's just see how long it takes for us to charge now. One. 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 5 seconds for us to charge right now with level 5 stealth arcana. But if you have higher movement speed, let's just buy the boot. Let's just uh, buy some movement speed items. Come on, movement speed items. Where are you? Okay, yeah, we have one here. Let us just get the gold and... Yeah, we have to buy all the movement speed items and yeah okay let's just have all that and now let us see how long it takes for us to charge okay let's go one two three four see in four seconds we have started charging which means that the higher your movement speed is the faster you will charge because 2000 units is the uh, amount necessary to charge right if you have higher speed you will reach 2000 faster so that is how you are able to uh, charge much faster and if you use this shoe boots of uh, whatever that is deftness it will even uh, help you charge faster okay so the idea is you have to travel 2000 units in order to start charging and if your movement speed is really high you can easily quickly travel uh, quickly cover 2000 units of distance and help you charge faster so this is just the passive of Guan Yu now let us talk about his first ability very straightforward ability this is the range if you press it he will deal damage around him let's turn off the cooldown and even behind him he can deal damage well, let's okay so as you can see he hits behind he hits in the side so it's basically a 360 degree swipe and he will deal a huge amount of damage actually and this is when he is in the walking state if he is in the charging state Okay, now he has started charging. Now if you use the first ability, he will knock back and also attack with his first ability and it has a very huge range. 
um so let us clear the puppets put one new here okay it's standing all the way over there but you can actually hit it from a very far range see even if you don't knock it back you can still hit it from very far so look at that it's an insane range guys uh, so if you are very close he will knock them back and also attack but if you are very far away you can just use it to just deal the damage okay also this is very useful when enemies are trying to run away from you for example if the enemy is trying to run and he is the enemy uh, he is all the way over there just come around and just use the attack jump and if you just manage to hit it at the edge you will still deal the full damage and you will be able to deal like what 25% HP if it's a marksman or mage okay so that is how this ability is very useful his main highest damage dealing ability is his first ability okay now the second ability of Guan Yu when he is in the normal stance if you use it he will get 30% increased movement speed for 2 seconds it will help you charge much faster so for example if you attack an enemy once and then you can use it to immediately power up and then uh, attack again but the main use for this ability is actually going to be that it will cancel any stun ability okay so if you are getting stunned if you use this he will cleanse himself of all the stuns and he will just start running uh, but if you get stunned immediately after using it won't work okay so let's just say you get frozen by princess frost just click this and the freeze will be gone okay i will show you some examples um, i'll put them on the screen right here so basically this ability is very useful because if you get stunned you can just use it to break free of that stun and run away the most important uh, use case will be against princess frost if you are frozen and if you have this ability just tap it you will be unfrozen and you can just uh, run away okay so that is the second ability in normal stance the jumping stance i mean charging stance second ability will be look at this it's a dash so if you use it he will jump and uh, he will deal damage to all the enemies in the area so let us just put a few puppets here and charge at them and if you use the second ability she see he just pushes all of them knocks all of them back in uh, uh, different directions so if you if you want and if, if if you want to push this enemy out of the tower you have to jump behind him and see he will be pushed outside the tower but if you jump here he you will actually push him under their own tower so make sure to not do that it's a big mistake that a lot of players do if you want to push an enemy back jump behind them and uh, they will be pushed backwards okay so yeah so that is what the ability does in the charging state now let us talk about the ultimate so whenever you are in the normal state if you use the ultimate you will start charging 75 percent faster which means that for normal normally you will have to walk 2000 units of distance to start charging right but if you are in the ultimate form for the next 10 seconds you can just charge if you move 500 units so 75 percent lesser uh, distance need to walk in order to start charging this ability is so powerful uh, it has to be right it, ha it is his ultimate and if you are in the charging stance it will be such an amazing ability so he will summon an entire heavy cavalry and it he will push all the enemies that are hit so let us say the enemies are all like in a line so if you are just coming from behind they are all trying to get your tower just come from behind like this and if you use it properly you can push all four of them under the tower so this ability is huge they the radius is just insanely huge and uh, such an amazing ability if you manage to land this ability on the enemy team like if you hit more than two you are just uh, almost guaranteed to win the fight because of how much powerful this crowd control is okay so that is the charging stance ultimate never use your ultimate in this uh, normal stance because you won't get that huge push so always try to uh, get into the charging stance and then use your ultimate to maximize its efficiency okay the using the ultimate is very easy anyone can do and after that only the hard part comes so let us say you are just coming around here and uh, you see the enemy mid laner here what you have to do is if you are at level 4 come behind them push them with your ult and then you will start charging faster right so you can just keep pushing them back for next 10 seconds you can just keep pushing them back again and again and again and look at how far i have brought this 
puppet now the now only the 10 seconds is over so it's the 10 seconds is a very long duration once you start pushing someone with the alt then follow it up with normal attack you can also use first ability you can also use second ability you can just toss them around and play however you want and uh, try to get the kill on them okay now let me give you guys some advanced tips on how to play guan yu so you know that in this charging stance if you use the auto attack uh, whichever direction you are holding the movement cursor in that direction he will just dash and attack right let me show you how you have to use the dash perfectly so you don't need to come from behind and then push an enemy what you can do is let's just say you are coming from here quickly turn back your movement cursor and then hit the auto attack and you can just push them so i'll show you once again the enemy is right there see uh, if you miss it even a little bit you will just push them forward okay so i'll show you guys now so what you can do is you don't need to actually go like this go behind the enemy and then push him like this it's not necessary to do all that what you can just do is as soon as you like have some contact with the enemy you can start pushing them backwards so let's just say your ultimate also works the same way the first ability also the second ability doesn't so what you have to do is you have to come in like this and okay i missed it it's a very like it has to be very accurate see this time i was able to do that so you don't actually have to like start pushing from very far away like this you can push them once you're on top of them and uh, just press the ability and pull your movement cursor in the backward direction so what i'm doing basically is instead of hitting them normally so what you have to do is pull the movement cursor back and then hit the auto attack button so go straight turn back and attack see that was so that's like uh, that's a micro thing so go close turn back and attack so you don't actually need to go all the way around an enemy like this and then push them like this no you don't need to do that even if you are coming from this side you can just do okay i missed it so you can see how hard it is right so you have to just come like this and turn back and push so you have to practice practice this first once you practice that you will be able to do a lot of crazy plays so usually the mid laner is going to be your victim they will be clearing the wave like this right so you'll just come from like this and then see i didn't even go all the way behind i didn't go like come all the way around and push her i just as soon as i touch her as soon as you make contact with them just turn the movement cursor in whichever direction you want and push them so for example if i want to push this girl into this river instead of into the tower what i'll just do is if i'm coming from here i turn the movement cursor this side and attack so the only thing you have to do is make sure to turn your movement cursor before pressing the attack button and you will be able to push them wherever you want okay this is a very important tip a lot of people don't know this and only if you play guan yu a lot of matches you will understand this so usually people make the mistake of going all the way around and pushing them one more thing is if you push an enemy like this you will push them much farther so i'll show you okay if i do the attack it's just a normal push but if i'm on top of her look how far i'm pushing can you see the visible like the difference is purely visible right if you are on top of the enemy your push distance will be much higher but if you are far away and if you are just hitting you won't push that much okay look at that i pushed her from here all the way to here with just one push so that is how i am able to push this one puppet all the way to the high ground tower with just one ultimate you have to use it perfectly come like this alt push 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 and push and one more wow okay e oh one more even i am impressed okay so we were able to push this puppet all the way from here to here N normally the enemy heroes won't be so cooperative they will try to run away or they will try to stun you but this is just an example for you guys but if i do the push wrong i will show you what happened if i'm not pushing accurately let's see how far i can push so Can you see the difference? See the charging is already over. See? I was able to push last time I was able to push the doll all the way over here but this time it's just massive difference. The reason for that is I press my auto attack early which means I won't be able to push them too much but if I press it while I'm on top of them 
that is how you can maximize the efficiency of your push okay another very important crazy tip for you guys you can just uh, bully so much if you know this tr uh, trick okay one more trick for guan yu is your first ability and ultimate cannot go through walls so see you don't go through walls your first ability also doesn't go through walls but your second ability can be used to jump over walls it's so cool actually like um, sometimes if you are attacking an enemy marksman let's just say you are attacking lady sun and she is standing right here when you go and attack her like this you deal so much damage she will flicker right she will use flicker and go through the wall and you can just use your second ability to jump over the wall and keep chasing her and uh, you can just kill her eventually okay so keep that in mind when you are attacking a hero who has a dash or who has a flicker or who has a flash ability save your second ability so that when they try to outplay you they will like once you push them one time they will immediately use the flash to go through the wall that is when you have to outplay and chase them with your second ability okay now let's talk about the matchups and when uh, guan yu can be extremely powerful now the thing is you can lane guan yu against any hero in the clash lane because primarily you won't be fighting the enemy clash laner your utility is going to be in team fights where you will be pushing everyone everywhere and uh, you will be just uh, causing chaos on the field but uh, usually he is very strong against heroes that don't have a lot of hp for example byron so byron usually people build attack build right byron dharma um okay who else uh, tachibana um yeah a young jian so heroes like this that don't have too much stuns but they also build a very attack build right so these heroes can be easily killed by guan yu if you are playing well so don't get me wrong don't try to take guan yu in your very first match and go and try to fight uh, let's just say dharma he will just totally mess you up you have to have some practice so what i'm saying is once you are pretty good with this hero you can easily kill a lot of heroes here and uh, usually you don't even fight against the enemy clash laner when you are playing guan yu uh, all the all the time you have to be focusing on killing these marksmen and uh, the easiest marksman to kill here will be huang zhuang okay and then show you um alicio is very easy to kill lady sun is pretty hard concertio is pretty hard as well um luban is pretty easy to kill marco polo is pretty hard because he can slow you down and he can also build tanky items right so it's pretty hard to kill uh, concertio garo is very easy to kill uh, dranj is pretty hard to kill who is pretty hard to kill because he will deal so much damage okay early is uh, impossible to kill if it's a very pro early you don't have any chance in 1v1 they'll just outplay you uh, because the hero is meant to be played like that you can't even catch early and kill her okay so yeah this is this these are all the heroes you need to be worried about uh, because you can just pick this guy just clear the wave with your first ability and just go away don't even need to fight against the enemy uh, clash laner but you have to kill this heroes in the team fight your job is to target and kill these marksmen and also these mages you can kill most of these mages uh, you cannot kill dio chan of course um, you cannot kill uh, um, let us see yeah uh, liang can be a very strong counter he can just ult and your ultimate will be wasted completely so mages are uh, secondary target and they are pretty hard to kill because they have a lot of stuns but marksman will be your primary target and these are all very easy to kill like almost like 80 percentage of the marksman are easy to kill except what concert you ho yi and uh, marco polo okay fang is also kind of impossible to kill if he is a pro player this uh, is such an annoying as hero he will just kill you so the only two bad marksmen are arli and fang so if the opponents have arli or fang don't try to pick guan yu it's a very annoying match up to play other than that you can just pick him against any heroes okay don't worry about that clash lane you don't even need to bother uh, no one is going to cause too much trouble for you if it's a pro fuzi he can uh, like ult and kill you but uh, most cases you can just avoid him don't even try to fight him just clear the wave and go away and try to bully the mid laner or something like that okay so by doing that you can counter anyone guys don't stay in the lane okay 
and also the build let me talk about the build so this shoe is very 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 important boots of resistance is mandatory on guan yu without this shoe you cannot do anything don't think this shoe gives so much movement speed and use it don't think this uh, shoe gives cool down and use it it's all waste boots of resistance is the only shoe you have to use okay if you don't use boots of resistance you are a bot guan yu okay this is the second most important item quaras uh, kairas of savagery you can see here the passive when taking damage increases damage by 2% and movement speed by 1% for 3 seconds stacks up to 5 times which means that you will get 5% movement speed when you are taking damage and movement speed is very important for our bro guan yu to help him charge much faster okay so that is why this kairas of savagery is very important axe of torment is just for dealing extra damage and another very important item is this frigid charge this equipment is an active ability if you click that button it will just stun all the enemies uh, in range um like the enhanced one does the stun right let me check um yeah this one okay this one stuns okay frigid charge this equipment can stun all the enemies uh, around you for half a second okay that half a second stun is going to be insane so i'll show you how to use it wait okay now i'll show you guys why this equipment this uh, active equipment is very useful on guan yu so what you do with your ult you just come from behind and try to push as many enemies as possible right but when you do that they will try to stun you or they will try to run away but what you can do is push them all and immediately use this stun stun them and then push them once again see if you do that they will not be able to use their uh, flicker or they will not be able to use their dashes for that one split second right in that time you can just push them once again let me show you guys again no problem so come from behind alt push immediately stun them and then push them again so after that only they will be able to react at all so your alt is basically a huge stun right so stun again stun and stun then stun and this stun that stun full stun only okay so this equipment is very useful look at that radius it's a huge radius and enemies who are inside that radius get stunned so yeah if you just do this look at on top of their head you can see that right that confusion symbol which means that they are stunned so it's a huge stun pair it up with your alt engage with your alt like this and then stun them once again and push them okay so that is how you have to use that uh, that uh, equipment now i showed you guys i was i was able to push this puppet all the way to the in front of our core right let me show you what happens if i use sprint the reason for using sprint is sprint will increase your movement speed which means you will be able to charge much faster right if you are a bot you can use purify or that cleanse equipment uh, cleanse uh, thing you don't need to use it with this hero you have to use sprint only so how you have to use sprint is come like this use alt and then turn on your sprint now the sprint is active let me show you guys how much of a difference it can make how was that how was that guys that one sprint made me able to push that puppet two times last time i brought it over here this time i was able to push it all the way to the altar like it's inside the altar range how insane is that that is the power of sprint because sprint you uh, increases uh, your movement speed by a lot you can just use the sprint to help you charge much faster and that is why sprint is very important okay now you guys know the importance of using sprint uh, sure purify can help you clear all the stun and stay stun free for one second but who wants to have that when you can push one guy from here all the way to the core which do you guys choose one second uh, immunity to stun or the ability to push a guy all the way over there i would surely go for the sprint only okay so that is how powerful the sprint is on guan yu okay okay so one final tip i have to give you guys and that is keep playing this hero a lot more only if you play a lot more you will understand so this is like a muscle memory thing uh, try to understand as i am trying to explain it so what you you will understand while playing many games is 
you will know when to push and without even looking at your bar see that bar is slowly charging up right without even looking at that bar you will slowly get an idea of when you have to push an enemy like when you have to click the auto attack button so once you get to that point you are very good with guan yu if you are still having to look at that bar okay the bar is full now i have to push if you are like that you won't push too often with your ultimate you will just be wasting a lot of time see here i'm just wait wasting two like one second before pushing but if you are very good at it you will be pushing every single second so push once you take off push one second not even you will not even be able to see that charging stance but you will be able to push immediately so instead of wasting any time uh, trying to see if he is charging or not just click at the perfect time and just push okay if you have to get to that level you have to play a lot more matches okay that is the final tip that i'm going to give you guys so yeah that's going to be it for the video guys make sure to hit the like button to show your support and if you're new here subscribe to the channel and let me know what other videos you'd like to uh, see me make uh, this is my personal favorite hero one of my personal favorites and that is why i was able to give you guys this many tips and uh, you can unlock the full potential of this hero by watching this video so yeah um that's going to be it for the video guys i hope you all found this video entertaining and helpful and if you did make sure to support me by hitting the like and subscribe button i hope you all have a really great day and i'll see you guys in the next video